Hi, it's Rick and Patty from the KORD Morning Show. Thanks for listening. We really appreciate it. And, of course, you can always catch us anywhere and everywhere with our KORD mobile app. It's free for you in the App Store as well in Google Play. On country, there is Chris Young, and he's out on the road with Kane Brown. August 16th in Seattle. I believe we'll have some more of those tickets uh, when we get closer to that big show and uh, going to be a good one there in Seattle. Kane Brown and Chris Young. You got Rick. You got Patty. Good morning. 610, about 65 degrees for you. Welcome to your Wednesday. You know what? You know what tickets we do have? And not even tickets, but they're wristbands. Yeah. Uh, what's coming up this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. got them. The boat we race got week, them. Bro- yes. Boat race weekend. Yes. Cool thing about these wristbands is it's both sides of the river. Pasco and for and- all three days. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to hook you up that uh, 720. We'll get ready for boat race weekend. Uh, Water Folly Wednesday. That means Mark's going to come in, tell us what's going on as we get ready for the big event uh, this weekend. And if you're if you're new to the Tri-Cities, you are in for quite the treat. Um, right, so, Patty? You, well, I think they're still looking for volunteers. So what a wonderful way to get, you know, if you are new to the Tri-Cities, no better way than to get introduced than, you know, yeah. taking part in the boat race weekend. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Mark will be in a little bit later water on to talk. Oh, yeah, water follies. This is this is a big deal. Even before I ever lived in Tri-Cities, I knew about uh, the hydros, man. Even uh, Well, because yep. I grew up in Lewiston and Clarkston, and, uh, and they tried to bring that to Lewiston and Clarkston. I remember when I was like a, a, mm-hmm. a teenager. It didn't, it, it was there for like a couple years and that was the end of it. But it was, everybody was coming to Tri-Cities. Oh, it's a big deal. Yeah. yeah. It is a even, huge yeah. deal. Even as a kid, everybody's come to the Tri-Cities uh, for the hydros here. Mm-hmm. So it's back. We're super excited. And yes, we'll give you a chance to win some tickets. Coming up this morning, 720 on the way, 1027 KORD. The Cord Morning Show with Rick and Patty. Back with more next on number one for new country, 1027 KORD. No need to wait for AI. Catch us now on Google Home and Alexa devices. Open our app for more info. It's on too late. You got Rick, you got Patty. Good morning. 65 degrees sunshine for him. Uh, before we get to Facebook fun, P- Patty and I had a great time yesterday. Um, the B Reactor there in Hanford. A lot of lot of fun taking that little tour. Don't huh? touch anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're going to be radiated if you touch anything. Don't touch anything. Anything, uh, Rick. So I took the I took so the there's tour, Rick touching stuff. I, I took the tour 15 years ago, and it's really changed. It's really neat. Um, I took it a long time ago. Got to go with Patty because um, I thought I'd seen it all, and no, it's really super cool experience. And I we encourage anybody and everybody to, to get on. And it's, it doesn't, doesn't Man, co- it's incredible when you go in there. This is the B reactor, and yeah. you're like, oh my gosh, it's this is where they, Just, I know. But, but but they to think they created this thing in the 40s, like. Just uh, uh, like, let's just make it. It went up lightning fast. Yeah. yeah. And insane. I'm like, how many people? And <laughs> yeah, how, yeah, I yeah. mean, it's just incredible. Yeah. It's insane when you see it and, you know, when you're out there at, at the B- technology. Right. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. And, and really, wow. the funny thing when, the, when the, the, the host was talking about it, it really is simple the way they put it together, but it's, it's simple, but it's massive. So it's like, wow. You, and it had to be perfect, it had to be done right. You couldn't just not do it right. Yeah. What a time for people from all around the country to not know, you know, you're you're coming out yeah. to help the war effort, I know. right? I know. I know. And it's top secret. I know. But 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 they call it the greatest generation, but uh it was interesting because he talked about all that land. There was people living out there. And they just evicted them. They just evicted yeah, them. Yeah, Paul, like somebody or other yeah, had, you know, several hundred acres. Yeah, but out you go. Five hundred you had five hundred acres, out you go. And it was like, and they paid you pennies on the dollar. But it was a different generation where it was like, well, it's all for the war effort. So most mm-hmm. people went gladly to help out the war effort. Well, again, you remember, know, so, um, yeah. Hitler could have had that yeah, technology. I don't. I don't it was, it, again, it's absolutely. You know, the race was on. Yeah, absolutely fascinating. Uh, B Reactor. If you get a chance, definitely go check it out uh, right there at Hanford. It's fun. So I'm um, taking the other tour, too, the yeah, Manhattan. Yeah. Uh, I mean, wow. Yeah, take, take the one that takes you out towards Hanford mm-hmm. High. And white bluffs and all that, and I've I've been out. I've only been here ten years. It's about yeah. time I took that tour. That's kind of like living in Anaheim and not going to Disneyland. Exactly. You need to go take. I it. mean, really. So that does lead me into Facebook fun today. If you could live in a different time period, what would you choose and why? Well, I'm going way into the future. I want to see what's coming. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I kept thinking you, about you were going in the, in the past. I was going to go yeah. in the past. I was thinking the 1950s, um, where it seemed. Like, uh, you know, more, uh, you know, a, a, a slower time, I guess. I'm thinking that... maybe Civil War era, too. What the? What? <laughs> no. What? Yeah, why, are you kidding? Why, I, I'm, I, I, oh, why not? Abraham okay. Lincoln is I, I, my I, I, 
favorite. I know it's your favorite, but there's a reason why people don't smile in pictures in the Civil War pic. Wow. Well, because guess what's missing? Red. Guess what's missing? Rot, rotting teeth. <laughs> rotting teeth. I read a great book. No, I read a great book. That's why they book. didn't smile, because they didn't have any teeth. Yeah, they, that's that's the truth. That's why I, they didn't, I know. Yeah, they had no teeth. But uh, Lewis Clark Expedition, I read a, I had yeah. a great book read about it, right? The f- the food that they ate along the, the expedition. Uh, oh, no. no. Well, no. I'm like, they got Badgers scurvy. And- oh, they got scurvy. They got all these different things because you just don't have the, the modern conveniences. Mm-hmm. You don't have a microwave. No, I know, <laughs> yeah. right? I, I can't. So, so no. they're out there, you know, shooting yeah, pheasants. Yeah, see, I would I, yeah, yeah, Buffalo, I wouldn't, pheasant. No, nope, I wouldn't and the, have lasted in those and times. And they talked about how the meat wasn't always, Ugh. you know, just, the list goes on and on. Ugh. So it. <laughs> I knew that bring you. I can't bring you bring you back to Don't reality. Catch a squirrel. We're having soup. Well, we. I'm just saying. I, we live in a great time. <laughs> yeah, I, we I, do. I like the I like the the stuff that we have in our time. Yeah. But there is a, a lot of great comments already. Bobby Joe says back when there was a bartering system, trade, uh-huh. <laughs> little house on the prairie type of lifestyle. But I hate dresses, so that's that. <laughs> that was from Bobby. That's pretty. Can good. you imagine Mrs. Olson going to the mercantile? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seeing exactly. Nellie and Willie. That's right, absolutely. <laughs> but but I I think uh, people One schoolhouses. Yeah. Um. Funny. Th- uh, Jason says Wild West to be an outlaw. And the funny thing, Jason, really quick before we tie this off, is the Wild West only lasted like thirty years. But in our minds, we romanticize the Wild. Of we do. Of we, do. We, we do. We love it. Yeah. We love it. The Pony yeah. Express. Uh-huh. Pony Express was around for a year and a half, and that was the end of the Pony Express. I'm a huge history nut. I love this stuff. So yeah. But uh, the Wild West. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to be Jesse James? I wouldn't want to be. I got you, man. I got you. So there you go. That'll be the Facebook fun. If okay. you live in a different time period, what would you choose and why? We want to know. I'm going to go with Patty on the future. I mean, I, yes. I'm going to go with you. Right I, into I the future, think, man. Yeah, I want to see what's, what's out there. What's coming? Absolutely. Facebook fun. You got Rick and Patty. You're listening to Rick and Patty in the morning on number one for New Country. 1027 KORD. I'm a sweat and t-shirt. Number one for New Country. 1027 KORD. It's 638. 65 degrees for you. Time for some Nashville news. I didn't know this about Dustin Lynch. He tells MusicRow.com that he decided to take the leap when he decided to quit school to chase his dream. He says, I had to trust my gut because my parents initially hated my decision, so I had to chase my dream. I was already making a great living playing college uh, campuses, frat parties, wedding receptions, and honky tonks on Lower Broadway in Nashville. I couldn't imagine giving that up, um, giving up all that fun for more years in a classroom. So, after four hard years of college, life's too short. I decided to enjoy the ride (laughs) and went off on on the road. And now look at him. Yeah. Morgan Wallen and Ernest have the number one song on country radio. Their collaboration, Cowgirls, is at the top of the Billboard Country and Media-based charts this week. It's Ernest's first ever chart topper as an artist and, of course, Morgan Wallen's 15th number one. The song appears on Morgan's record-breaking One Thing at a Time album and co-written by Ernest. Luke Combs tells Major League Baseball, MLB.com, he's a huge baseball fan. He says, I've always been a fan of baseball growing up on Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire. I was so entranced by this almost superhuman feat by these larger-than-life human beings. They made the impossible seem possible. And finally, the author of a new Taylor Swift-inspired book promises to reveal what inspired Taylor's song lyrics. It's called Taylor Swift, The Stories Behind the Songs. The book covers all of Taylor's 11 albums and includes official comments from Taylor about each and every song. Just so you know, that book drops today. Those are your trending headlines. We love to hear from you, and it's easier than ever to reach out. Just open up the Cord mobile app and send us an app chat message. Or you can contact us the old-fashioned way at 509-547-KORD. Number one for new country, 1027 KORD. Have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto? Make sure you have our app so when you connect your device, we can go everywhere together be with you happy wednesday before we get to other people's problems which is quite the situation going on here so if you have kids um are you responsible for their actions before they're an adult we'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit or how responsible <laughs> yeah, it depends yeah. on what they've done exactly so we'll <laughs> talk about that coming yeah. up in a little bit before we get to that though anywhere everywhere download our kord mobile app uh, i posted it yesterday what uh, is it illegal to cuss in washington state so 
you know, there are moments where I, well, I'll say some swear words or bad words. Now, places I won't, generally in front of elderly people, I try to hold my tongue. Uh, in front of kids, oh, I try to, yeah, you know, you yeah. try not to cuss in front of kids or different things like that. Really? But is it really illegal? And you'd be surprised by the law. So, I don't know. Look at that guy scratching his I head. Know. Is it illegal? Oh, Some places in uh, in the U.S. it is illegal, believe it or not, to be cussing out in public. Uh, for Washington, it's interesting that if it if it rises to the level of, uh, oh, what is it, a disorderly conduct, you know what I'm saying, uh -huh. then it becomes illegal. Mm -hmm. Then you get arrested for it. So if you're belligerent and you take it to that next level, you know, but just to cuss, yeah, probably not probably not illegal but again you want to hold you know my my foster mom who was a, a, an amazing person we've talked about pearl a lot on the show um i was in the bathroom one time <laughs> and i was a teenager yeah and i said the s word but oh, she uh -huh. i didn't know she heard me and i just heard her laughing and she gets well, she on, laughed huh? she got on the phones with all her friends <laughs> yeah i'm like what the Anyway, because she because she'd never heard me ever say a cuss word ever, not, oh, ever. Uh -huh. Even as a child, I didn't uh -huh. do it right. So I'm in there combing my hair, and I said the s word, and so she was on. Oh, the, oh she was on oh. the she was on the phone with her girlfriends. You never oh. guess what he. You yeah, never oh, guess what it, Rick it, said it, today. It, exactly. Oh and my. I was like, yeah, I thought it was. She thought oh. it was the funniest thing. Hmm. So I also uh, was looking at the uh, court app, and this is a wonderful story. What happened to this Are great you talking Dane? About the Great Dane. Yeah. What uh, happened? Well, she was she was stuck up on a trail. Oh, sweet And baby. couldn't get. Oh, she was scared to death. Scared to death. But these people, the Washington Animal Response Team, yeah. are just awesome. Sent a team up, and guess what? Luna's doing okay. Oh man, I love the photo. She's such a sweet puppers. Really? Yeah. Poor, really. Poor Luna. Uh, but yeah, the Washington Animal Response Team. They, you know, they're just a phone call away, it's and amazing. they help. Yo, animals in distress. They yeah. got you covered. They do great work there. So uh, all that and more, find out about it. It's all posted for you right there on the KORD mobile app. You're waking up with the Cord Morning Show. Number one for new country. 1027 KORD. We ride 710 and number one for new country. 1027 KORD. You got Rick, you got Patty. All right. I want to dive right into other people's problems. What's going on with Bethany here? Um, so she says, my 17-year-old son got arrested last weekend, and now everyone, including my friends and family, are blaming me for his arrest. They say I'm responsible because he's a minor and under my watch. He's almost 18 and an adult. He made the wrong choice. I did everything I could to raise him, right? It's not my fault he decided to hang out with the wrong crowd and got himself in trouble. My family thinks otherwise. I don't think I should be blamed for him getting arrested. What do you think? Do you agree with me or my family? Is a parent responsible when their kid gets arrested? Bethany and Pasco. Woo, so I can, there. I have several stories on this that I can relate to. So um, being from a family of criminals. Now, I believe that every kid is going to mess up. Not not every kid, but a kid can mess up. You know what I'm saying? And I and I believe you should get a second chance. I've always been that way. It, uh, so many years ago, my stepson, now that he's an adult, I can tell the story, uh -oh. um, had uh -oh. gotten had gotten busted with his buddy uh, Doing for, what? for shoplifting uh -huh. at Walmart. Okay. Now, what makes it funny is they were wearing camouflage when they got busted. <laughs> okay. I have that. That's so... So Megan calls me. I'm at an event. She's like, hey, you know, he got busted. And I'm like, oh, and she goes, and, and then she goes, and then he, and she, she, she's like, he's wearing camouflage. <laughs> anyway, okay. so, so interesting yeah. enough, uh, back in my day when you got caught shoplifting, they arrested you. I yeah. mean, as a, yeah. as a kid, they, you got yeah. arrested and you uh -huh. got scared, right? Yeah. Huh. You know, yeah. uh, Walmart uh, just made him do restitution. Oh, you know, whatever, whatever the restitution was, but he never got arrested. Oh. And I was always like, hmm. As a parent, I'm like, I think that that would have taught the, taught the lesson. Mm -hmm. Now, Megan was like, no, I think that's good enough. Now, he got grounded, not allowed to see that friend for a long time. You know, the list goes <laughs> yes, on and on. Yes, Is yes. Megan responsible? Uh, no, I don't think she was responsible because he's a good kid. He didn't do it again. You know, and now he's a great. Citizen. Well, that can't be the FBI. He's not. She's not responsible because he's a good kid most of the time. Well. We, I get it. I, kids, I know. You know, we've all had that buddy yep. who made oh, us do yeah. something we shouldn't have done. You <laughs> yeah. know. Yeah. But now, now going forward, it's how you pivot from that. Mm -hmm. So my first wife, um, her brother, always in jail. Like as an oh, like always yeah, in jail. And yeah. the grandparents sit around going, "Why, why do they keep arresting Jerry?" <laughs> I'm like, and I went because he's breaking the law. I mean, <laughs> yeah. 
There yeah. comes a point to where it's like you are not, you yeah. know. Yeah. Some people, they're in, you know, my my cousins, uh, the Jollis, always in prison, always in jail. My brother spent 15 years in Walla Walla uh, for attempted murder. So I am quite, Yikes. no, I, I understand. You these. keep in touch with that brother? Of course, he's oh. my bro. He's my brother. He's my little brother. But, Man. but I'm saying is it's like they're coming. Okay, everybody make, can make a mistake, right? It's how you recover from the mistake in my book. So, yeah, if you made a mistake, got arrested, okay, shape it up, man. Shape it up. Don't do it again. You know, and I'll give you a free pass. If you continually do it, mm-hmm. then that's not on you as the parent, but that is on that person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so um, what do you I'm at, What do you think? I, say, well, I don't I know. I don't have kids. I can't speak on that. I got, I've got, I've got I don't, one. I don't have children. I, yeah. you know, but I do believe up until a certain age. You bet you're responsible for. Oh, Megan Gold. Your... Megan was on. Oh yeah, but, but he was wearing camouflage when he got, <laughs> when he got busted. I mean, that's so what, what makes, to say about that's that. What, that's what makes the story like uh, what the I got the call. What anyway? So I think that to some extent you are responsible. Absolutely, you're there to put the morals, the values. You know, hey, what's yeah, but right? every now and then your kid, like we all, she said, you know, makes all, a poor we, decision. We've all. I mean, done as something long as they wrong. learn from their mistakes you now know, i mean uh, i uh, i did something wrong when i was a kid and pearl i cried and pearl took me aside and says hey we all fall down we all fall down how are you going to recover from this and i said well i've disappointed you and mom and dad and she's like you know all right wow but, you're like the brady bunch the lesson to be learned but i'm just <laughs> saying but 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 oh, pearl, but pearl wow. was like like hey you know going mm-hmm. forward you don't do it again she gave you that pep talk yeah you don't do it again you know now they get in trouble absolutely got in trouble but but uh, you learn now if you continually can't learn then that's not on i don't i don't think you know you could have i've i've known people who've had great parents yeah and the, still, and the kid is like, like where, uh, where do you get that right yeah. right i it's all part of the i i don't know Anyway, so Bethany, we'll do our best to solve it for you. Already a ton of comments on Facebook. Patty, any final words? Uh, do you think that she's responsible for her kid? or is Well, she- I, again, we're all dying to know exactly what he did. Yeah, I he mean, didn't say what he did. I know, but... You know, but uh, he did get arrested and he's 17. And, well... You know, I do believe... You better to, have that stern chat with him. I'm going to say, to some Mr. extent... Mr. Man. To some extent, you are in, you know, your kid. Yeah, but like she said, he's 17, almost 18. 18, uh, he man. better choose his path. But you know, you he do. better get it. You know, and you can do the best job as a parent and still mm-hmm. have something go like. Yeah, it, you don't know. You I mean, don't know. It, it, it. I don't know where it comes from. I don't know why it happens that way. It just does. So, Bethany, we'll do our best to solve it for you. Five four seven K O R D. Yep, Chad is. I'm just thinking about my stepson in that camouflage at Walmart. <laughs> How old he, was he? Uh, 12, 13. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, and what did he steal? Uh, Pokemon cards. Oh, no. Uh, Pokemon cards. Well. Anyway, anyway, it was just funny to get the card. <laughs> his mom, Eddie was, Eddie was in camouflage. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we'll take some calls on the way you got Rick and Patty. Starting your day the right way with the Cord Morning Show. Number one for new country. 1027 KORD around the corner 725 you got rick you got patty before we get to that though what we're super excited because this weekend water follies uh weekend uh mark's gonna be in a little bit later on but we have got passes to give away don't we Patty? Yep, we are two days away and we've got the wristbands we've got two of them for you uh in there for three-day cold pit access event admission We've got your wristbands for I you. I love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, i got a pair of it for you, 547-KORD, 547-KORD. These are good for both sides of the river, for Kennewick and Pasco side. And if you want to go to the boat races this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we got your hookup right now. And what caller number do you want to Caller number seven is going to be a oh, winner at 547-KORD. You're loving caller seven. You Why are? not? All right, 547. <laughs> 547-KORD, caller seven. You win next. KORD, good luck. Starting your day the right way with the Cord Morning Show, number one for new country, 1027 KORD. No need to wait for AI. Catch us now on Google Home and Alexa devices. Open our app for more info. From Water Follies for our Water Follies Wednesday, that's around the corner for you. You got Rick, you got Patty, good morning. Right now about 67 degrees for you. So this is making the rounds on TikTok and Reddit. It is called the loyalty test question. It's trending. Women in committed relationships are asking their partners if giving their phone number to a member of the opposite sex is cheating. A a majority of men say it is cheating, while the majority of women say it isn't. Many women are posting that they can't that, that they can be plutonic with male friends. So what do you think there? 
um, in that particular situation. Depends on which male which male friend I'm giving my number to. I, it depends on and, and it depends on what. Uh, it I, depends on who's asking for the right. number. I, I, you yeah, know what I, I mean? I, I think it really, I think it really <laughs> yes. does to some extent. I think um, if I'm in a committed relationship and I'm attracted to somebody or I'm attracted to the person that wants to give me their phone number, I don't know about that. Because I'm like, you know, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, know. you know, should I have this phone number? Probably not. I mean. Uh, give me your phone. Now, I'll put my now, number now, in for now, you. Now, if there is no way in <laughs> never, ever, 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 then I'd be like, okay, yeah, I'll take that phone number. That's fine. I don't think that's cheating, you know. But if it's like mm, something good, no. Nope, you nope. think that the only reason somebody wants your number is to hook up? No, I, I I believe I believe men and women can have plutonic friends yeah. of of the opposite sex. There's no there's no doubt about that. Um, I, I believe that. But if I think you're even slightly attracted to them, you know, <laughs> may not may know, not that yeah. might be the can of worms. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like uh, yeah, if I had one of Megan's friends that that I thought was attractive, give me their phone number, I'd be like, eh, I probably wouldn't do it. Probably wouldn't do it. You know. Now, if it was one of the not hey, so, Rick, you want my digits? Yeah. It's, if it, now, if it was one of the, now, if it was one of the not so attractive ones, okay, that's okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. <laughs> what? I'm just saying. Gosh, I'm, you are really. No, I'm I don't even saying, know. How I'm just to, saying, man. I, I I don't know. I just feel like, hey, where there's smoke, there's fire. So well, it's one I, of, I yeah, I so get it, that. So it's like, mm-hmm. come on, Oh, Patty, come on. So there are coworkers in our building, right? You know, and if they give you your digits. I'm mean, gonna give them, you know if they came to you and say, "Hey, here's my phone number." You could I'd probably be like what the you could probably care, <laughs> but you'd care less, right? And no, Je- and be. Jeff wouldn't think of a thing Jeff about is clueless. No, he's exactly. got no idea. Yeah, he wouldn't. Care, you know. So is it cheating if you're getting a phone? Yeah, from the I just think it is. I, I mean, to some it depends on depends on that person, I guess. I'm, I'm kind of in your. your do you kid. have anybody? Do you have anybody in your in your phone book that um, is not really who they say they are? Like. I don't know. Oh no! What Chloe's calling? Who's oh, Chloe? Oh no! I've no, never heard you. No, you no, know, none of that. Do you have any of that at all? Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> I don't have. I don't have any. I don't have any of that. I but, do not. I'm but just I'm asking. not gonna. But I'm never gonna sit and tell a lie and say uh, that I don't think some of my wife's friends are are not attractive. She has. You know, that's go, not the question, but, but Rick. she has friends. I mean, she's got girlfriends that are attractive. Yeah. I, now I don't go near them. Be- I don't go near them. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I, I'm, I'm, I'm I don't fr- go near her. I don't go near them. But I will say that she's got some friends that are attractive. But I don't. Wow. I'm like, nope, not gonna okay. go there. Hmm. So we'll take some calls coming up. Is giving your phone number to a member of the opposite <laughs> sex while you're in a committed relationship? Is that cheating? Why or why? Hang on, not? Megan's calling. I know exactly. Gotta go. <laughs> Gotta go. We'll take some calls on the way. You got Rick and Patty. K O R D. The Cord Morning Show with Rick and Patty. Back with more next on number one for New Country one zero two seven K O R D. Young Love Saturday nights is latest seven fifty three. You got Rick. You got Patty. Happy Wednesday, middle of the week, and of course it's Water Follies Wednesday. And Mark's in here from the Water Follies. Hey, Mark. Mark. <laughs> I know. I can't believe. I can't believe we're already what two days away. Two days. Two days, and that's it. And people, thousands of people are going to descend upon the Tri-Cities. Hydroplanes, air show, the list goes on and on. What festivities have you got for us this coming weekend? We got lots of food, lots of family fun. Uh-huh. Knocker Ball is going to be down there. Oh, yeah, We've got yeah. an air show. Final year for the A-10. It's their farewell tour, so, you know, we're looking forward to that. Mm-hmm. And we got lots of boats. We got, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, eight Unlimiteds. We got vintage hydroplanes. We've got Grand Prix, uh, E-350s, 2.5 liters. So we're trying to take care of some of that dead time on the water. We've got a lot of stuff going on, a busy weekend. Well, on the water, let's talk in the air. What's in the air, too? Oh, way, way up there. Yeah, we, we've, we're going to have Misty Blues, which is an all uh, ladies um, parachuting team. So we're super Uh-oh. excited about that. Yes. Then we've got the uh, A1 Sky Raider. Uh-huh. You know, we're super excited about that. It's kind of the the, the first A10, more or less, kind of sort of. So, and you don't see that with the A10 very often. So it's it's super exciting that we're getting both of those planes this year. Got a couple other planes coming: Yellow Thunder, um, uh, the A37. Which is a Vietnam Air, you know, attack plane, and so we're super excited about that. Brad Worsen's coming with, you know, a lot of acrobatics going on there. So we're expecting great air show, uh, and the, we're expecting great weather. Yes. It looks fat. Yes. Maybe the best weather in. 
12, 14 years. Who this, knows? I think this haze is going to blow out here a little bit at least, hopefully, crossing fingers on that. Yeah, well, it's going to be windy maybe tomorrow, today, this afternoon. Mm-hmm. But, uh, mm-hmm. you know, the temperature-wise, we may not hit 90 degrees Friday, Saturday, Isn't Sunday. That crazy? That'd be I, perfect. I, that is fantastic yeah. Yeah. weather. Yeah. You know, you, you can't beat it. If you're thinking about ever coming to the Water Follies and weather holds you back because it's hot, right. this is the year to come. This, just, this is the year. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm like to, I, I'd like to think it's the Mark Effect. We had pretty good weather last year. We had great weather effect. this year. So yeah. I'm super excited by that. I don't know how long I can keep milking that out, but I'm going to try to milk it as long as I can. Well, now, are you guys still looking for volunteers? Are you good on volunteers? No, we're still looking for volunteers. Okay. Um, if you if you want to come out and, and the way the weather holds you back a little bit, we're still looking for some security volunteers, a little help putting stuff up, taking stuff down. So if you're available and you want to volunteer, help your community out, because this really is a community event, um, you know, come on out. And the big question we had, even someone called into the station yesterday asking, where do they get tickets? Waterfollies.com. That's it. Yeah. It's, or you come down. With, today, you can't come to the office because we moved the office down to Will Call in the park. So it's right there by the uh, Playground of Dreams. Oh, yeah. And then after lunch today, you can buy tickets down in the park or you can go to Will, uh, Waterfollies.com. It's right so on. easy. That's, so easy. It's super simple. Yeah, everybody knows where that's in the park. Just go there and get the tickets or go on to the website, waterfollies.com. Uh, before we let you go, of course, some great sponsors. Uh, you, yeah, you anybody guys, you need to thank? Yeah, you guys can't do this if you don't have sponsors. I can't do it, and we've had a whole lot of great sponsors this year. we got to thank Apollo again. They've stepped up in a huge way for us. Uh, STCU for Over the River. Yep. Sure it's their second year. Mm-hmm. Um, those guys at Local 598 are fantastic partners with us. They help us with our rescue sleds. IBEW uh, 112, great partners. Um, and then we've got some new, new sponsors. You know, the Umatilla uh, tribe has oh. been stepped up this year. They're sponsoring the purse. You know, it's fantastic for us. Uh, Colville has stepped up and, you know, they're bringing in, helping us bring in the vintage boats, uh, Broadmoor RV, Coca-Cola, the list Public goes, House. Yeah. The list goes on and on. Steve Lee family yep, has helped us with the them. kids' I'm, tickets. Yep. You know, go to our website, take a look at There's mm-hmm. links to all those people. Um, Coors Light, you know, Pacifico, oh, White Claw. Claw, the Trust mm-hmm. Company, White Claw. You know, the list goes on. I'm missing a handful of them, I guarantee you. Um, but, you know, go to our website, check it out. We got posters in the uh, in the office. They'll be down at Will Call. Later today, we will have programs. We got challenge coins, pins, you know, you name it. We got T-shirts. We're, we're good. ready. We're, 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 we're ready. having a we're race ready. and an air show. But we're also, ready. And you can catch the full broadcast on our sister station. That's right. Uh, KONA. 610 KONA. So it's going to be three big days there, July 26, 27, 28. Check them out on the Facebook, waterfollies.com. Mark. I guess this means we don't get to see. We'll I know, see until we'll next see, year. Well, we'll see you down at the park. I'll You'll see, see me at the, the park. park. We'll see you at the park, and then we got to wait till next year before next year's Water Follies Wednesdays. Mm-hmm. But man, we are so proud of the work that you do. I know you don't get the accolades, so before you go, we got to give you a little yes, round of applause. Thank so you for all that thank, you do, Mark. It, it, you know, it takes a village. I get it, I, but it uh, also takes a leader too. The so. board members, board members. I, I can't do it without oh, yes. the board members. But all thank right. you guys. Thank you. All right, thank you, Mark from Water Follies. There you go. Going to be a great weekend. Get more details now, right there at waterfollies.com. And Patty in the morning, a number one for New Country, 1027 KORD. In the gorge, and yes, we will have your free tickets. Luke Combs, Beer Never Broke My Heart. It's 811. You got Rick, you got Patty. Good to be with you. This is blown up on TikTok and Reddit. Women in committed relationships are asking their partners if giving their phone number to members of the opposite sex is cheating. A majority of men say it's not, while a majority of women say, oh, no. Yeah, it uh, is. Oh, they're saying it is, and a majority of women saying it isn't. Many women are posting that they can be plutonic with new male friends. I've always felt, now I could be totally wrong, but I always feel I always feel women have backups. Totally. Even if they're married, they got backups. Because, they, you know, um, I just you think... You mean they, a backup dude? Like Not, uh, not like, that they're cheating or doing anything. I'm no, just saying... No, but there's somebody we can call. I, I think there's always... I, yeah, it's that old Kenny Rogers song, Daytime Friends, Nighttime Lovers. <laughs> like It's like, I feel like women, compared to men, compared to men, I'm yeah. just saying... Um, like, you know, if, if something ever went wrong, they've got, they still have some dude like 20 you years, think, you know, yeah, well, I'm just saying there's, there's, I always feel like there's, you some, might be right. You might be right I, about you know, that. I'm Rick. just saying, I'm just saying that women, women probably have a much easier time, time rebounding from that. So uh, they're saying that women are saying that they can be plutonic with male friends. And, yeah, and men, I agree. You men, can. I understand. Men say absolutely not. Right, exactly. You guys got one thing on your mind. Thank you. You do. Thank you. I, I, I know you two, do. Every 2.5 seconds. I mean, trust <laughs> that, me. Trust me. It's rough having I mean, a, it's not funny. It's Is that all you guys think about? Oh, it's 
why we've been put on the planet yeah, to, I, you know, to, 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 you know, do, uh-huh, work, do our to, thing, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. I can't help it. I got a 12-year-old brain. I know I, your 13-year-old I brain. I can't my, help it. I can't. <laughs> can't help it. It is what that, it is. That's why for me, if I had if I had one of Megan's friends and they were attractive and wanted me to give me their digits, I wouldn't do it. I'd be, no, no, not going to take your digits. No. Now because, she, she, because she's going to tell Megan. Well, no, or, I don't know about that, but I just like, nah, no. Where there's smoke, there's fire. I'm not, you know, going to well, take it. Yeah. yeah. First off, you can't keep a secret. Well, I don't have any of you're their... Not, you're and, not... I, and I don't have any of her friends, her female friends' numbers. I don't have any of their numbers. Now, I am friends with them on Facebook. Oh, look, Rick's calling. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am friends with them on Facebook, yes, but, but, yes. I, but I don't have any of their any of their numbers. So um, I just that, keep my nose clean. That's what I'm talking about but, right there. Yes, <laughs> that's right. But I understand why men say that. So 547-KORD if, is giving your phone number to a member of the opposite sex while in a committed relationship. It depends on... Depends on why you gave it to him. All right, all right. You're on on the woman's side there. Uh, What do you think? Do you think it's cheating? I think it really depends on why you're giving the number away. I mean, if it's just a chit-chat, then you might be crossing lines. Chit-chat? There's a lot of reasons to communicate with people that isn't necessarily being on Facebook. Okay. My boyfriend is an auto tech, so he has lots of female numbers. So that should be absolutely no problem as long as it's remaining professional. I, mm. If you have the trust in your relationship, honestly, it shouldn't be an issue. Now, if there are things that have come up in the past, you know, maybe you're a little more protective. But if you're in a solid relationship, it really shouldn't be an issue. All right. All right. So um, I, I think I think if you're getting emotionally something from somebody else outside of your relationship, that could be that could be the issue. It, uh, that could become an issue, if that makes sense. So so Megan, I hear her talking to her ex-boyfriend from high school. His name is Ethan Man Mountain. I hear her. You know, now she does it in front of me, so I mean, she doesn't hide it. But yeah. but it's like, and and they're not talking about anything that's you know. I mean, they're just talking what whatever. But it's like you know, I'm secure enough in that relationship to know there's nothing nothing going on. I there. don't know. I got Jeff. My husband has been calling Joyce lately. <laughs> but Joyce is like ninety. What or something like? Is she like? No, uh, she's not. I know, and I'm like, mm, why you call? Why why does she? Why does he have? I Joyce's don't know digits? because because packages. She she no. gets Amazon. Yeah, she's got Amazon packages that are, and I'm mm-hmm. like, um, mm-hmm. you're you're a little too much into her business. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I think so. Red flag there, <laughs> I Jeff. Know. I know. Taking your calls five four seven K or A. Giving your phone number to a member of the opposite sex while in a committed relationship. Is it cheating? We want to know. More of your calls on the way. You got Rick and Patty. We love to hear from you, and it's easier than ever to reach out. Just open up the Cord mobile app and send us an app chat message. Or you can contact us the old-fashioned way at 509-547-KORD. Number one for new country, 1027-KORD. No need to wait for AI. Catch us now on Google Home and Alexa devices. Open our app for more info. Four and number one for New Country. It's 1027 KORD. 75 degrees sunshine for your tri cities. Hazy, but the good news over the next couple of days is going to be in the 90s. So going to be a little uh, cooler Fantastic than it has been. Fantastic for I know. The boat races. I know. Everybody's excited. Right on. Uh, and don't forget also, Art in the Park is massive as well. So That it, is at uh, Howard Amon Park. Yeah. So there's a lot going on. And when people say, oh, I'm bored. There's so much going on in Tri-Cities all the time. You can always find something to do. Art and in the Park is a fantastic I love it. event. It's, it's one of my things. You know, we uh, most weekends we'll do, our, what most time of the year we'll do the, the, the water follies and then we'll mm-hmm. do the Art in the Park. Mm-hmm. You, can do, you can actually do both and it's really cool. And then there's that nice cool breeze that comes from Howard oh, yeah. Yep. So it, it does make it yep. a, a fun time for you. All right, we're going to tie off this other people's problems. Bethany and Pasco's got quite the situation. Are you responsible for your kid when they're under a, you know, when uh, they're not an adult? Her friends say that uh, she is responsible because he's a minor and everything's happening under your watch. Uh, but he's almost 18 and an adult. He made the wrong choice. I did everything I could to raise him right. Not my fault. He decided to hang with the wrong crowd. He got himself into some trouble. But my family thinks otherwise. I don't think I should be blamed for him getting arrested. What do you think? Do you agree with me or my family? Is a parent responsible when their kid gets arrested? Bethany wants to know. All right. Facebook comments already. And Barbie says, if you're not responsible, you're not responsible for your kid's stupidity and illegal choices. The end. Your family's looking for an escape goat. Don't step into that role. Um, I dated a pastor's son in my early teens. And boy, howdy. His parents had no idea Mm -hmm. how that boy acted when he wasn't around them. But do be there for your son through uh, this without harsh judgment and helping guidance. 
but make the decision. But he made the decision. He pays the piper. And I will tell you this: as growing up in my little town of Clarkston, um, sadly, if you wanted to, you know, get a little smoochy smoochy, the pastor's daughter was the quickest way to do it. So it's mm-hmm. always interesting when the, they don't know what their kids are doing. So thank you, Barbie, on that. What do you think, Patty? Who else? Uh, Brianne says, your fam, 100. And um, Jason says, you can't be with him 24-7. He made the wrong choice, and now he has to live with the consequences. He can either learn from it or not. All right. Kathy says, there has to be a reason why all your friends and family are blaming you for this. Must be something that they saw in your parenting skills, why they think about think this. On the other hand, at 17, he knows there are consequences for his actions and choices. Don't make excuses for him or bail him out. He needs to man up for his actions and take responsibility. And now pray he has learned a lesson to make better choices. Bobby Joe says, kids are jerks. They do what they want. I know because I was that kid. I had great parents. They taught me right from wrong and punished me when I needed it. I chose to do the stupid things yeah. I did. Yeah, no, but Carol, not the, the parents' fault that your son was arrested. I mean, there's so yeah. I mean, you could be a great parent and still have your kid go off the rails. There's there's no book on perfect parenting. There there just isn't, you know. But parents don't raise their kids to be criminals. No, absolutely not. Well, I want help unless you come from. I, unless, I mean, <laughs> unless you come from a family of criminals like I do. I but, mean, if that's all you know. No, that, but, but I mean, but you still make the choices. You you know, yes, it's one of those things. Yes. I I remember you know my foster mom talked about it a lot. She says uh, there's a consequence to every thing you Action. do. Action, you yeah. know. And so yeah, have, did I do some stupid things? Oh. I did some stupid stuff. I mean, I'm not perfect. I did I did some stuff that I got in trouble for, um, you know, even some illegal stuff and got in trouble for. No, did it. Got in trouble. But as my mom said, okay, you get to do it once. You know? I can't imagine you doing anything oh, illegal. I don't, no, I did some stuff when I was a kid. So um, things I shouldn't have been doing. So the funny thing is, but she always said, you get, you know, it's how you recover. You get one, get one mess up. Yep. But if you continually do it, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? Now you're making... The choices, you know, it's kind of like a hot stove. You know what I'm saying? As a kid, you're like, hey, don't touch that. Don't touch that. Oh, you touch it once. Oh, OK. You learned, didn't you? Yeah, I learned. Exactly. And then you keep putting yep. your hand up there. Yep. OK, now you're going to get, get burned. You're going to get. So so even if even if you're like most horrible parents on the entire planet, once you get close to be once you get to be an adult, it's on you. Mm-hmm. It just is. Mm-hmm. I once I was so funny. Many years. Harshest lesson I ever learned. Um, I was I was not a, a great worker in my youth, or at least I don't I don't think I was. And I had um, an employer tell me, he says, you can't use your bad childhood as your excuse for being lazy. And I went, wow. No, you can't. Somebody said that to yeah, you? Yeah, you cannot use your bad childhood for an excuse for not getting the work done. And I was I was a kid. I was 18, 16, 17, 18. What but were you doing? I don't. I, well, obviously, wasn't doing what they. Well, what the, was the job? Uh, I can't recall. But oh. I just remember it wasn't at the level they wanted. You know what I'm saying? And I realized, yeah, you can't make excuses for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you had bad stuff happen to you. Guess what? You pull yourself up. Mm-hmm. You know, and you do what, what's mm-hmm. asked of you. If in in a, in a job thing, but. But it's, yeah, again, you can't use that as your excuse. You can't say, yeah. oh, I had a bad childhood. Well, you so have now to move gonna, on. You, yeah. You know. Yeah, I had a bad childhood. You move on. You, you can have those memories, right? Oh, and, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But you can't be, you can't have a bad childhood and then blame that childhood for every move you make as no, an adult. No, And say, well, the reason why I commit crimes mm-hmm. is because my dad was mean. No, I get it. No, oh, this is trauma. I understand. But you still can't use that as your uh-uh. excuse no. going forward. You, right. you are, yeah. So the kid... 100% is, you know, mm-hmm. he, uh, he, yeah, I don't know. Bethany, we did our best to solve it. It was a deep dive, man. Big therapy session. Yeah, uh, your kid's <laughs> responsible. Your kid is responsible. Big therapy session on the Rick and Patty show. <laughs> this is, yeah, you got it today. 547-KORD. What would you do in this situation? We want to know. You got Rick and Patty. K-O-R-D. You're waking up with the Cord Morning Show. Number one for new country. 1027-K-O-R-D.